<laughs> oh yeah, baby. So I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool today. I, uh, I've never really seen anything like it. My buddy August has this cool casting platform and we use it for sight casting. He uses it on fly fishing. I just think it's like the coolest thing ever. So I'm gonna show you guys the setup and how it locks in and everything. Cool little additive to his uh, skiff here. So for all you guys that know me and watch my videos, you guys probably know August cause I think He's someone that I film with the most just because I kind of live relatively closer to him and I don't always get to fish with all my other buddies due to my work schedule. But he is a charter captain and when he push pulls me, he gets up into this top spot here and he stands on top of his cushion and then with me up there, it's virtually like game over for these fish. Redfish blend in really, really well with like grassy bottoms or whatever. I can't tell you how many fish we basically run over before we see just because how well camouflaged they are. Snook, you'll be able to see a little better because they have a darker outline on their back. And trout, I don't, e I don't even bother sight casting at them because they are so skittish. So here's what the platform looks like. Just has this rod that goes down and underneath is a washer and a nut so it doesn't spin. But that central rod holds this basically locked down from underneath. Gotta drill in a little hole down there. But it goes up there, screws into the top, and it has a rod holder here, rod holder on the other side, some right here if you really want to for that lock in. And this is the rail that goes in behind you. It locks in right there. You can also put rods up there as well. There's a little rod holder up we there. We gotta take that down because we got some trees on the way to the brand. But when you're up in that thing, it feels like you're a mile up in the air and you can see literally everything. So I think he got it for just a couple hundred bucks. So that's pretty cool. For all you sight fishing guys out there, you guys know the importance of standing on top of something. A lot of people stand on top of their Yeti coolers or whatever, when they're going through marshland or oyster beds, wherever you're fishing at. But that thing literally is a game changer. It lets you see the fish before they see you. They're not really looking up entirely that high for you. And if you guys have a pair of coasters on or Maui gyms, whatever, it's like you can see virtually anything for miles and it's just awesome. Unless you're afraid of heights, I would not recommend standing up there because it gets a little sketch sometimes when you're getting real shallow. <laughs> but yeah, that's a really cool setup. Uh, if you guys saw the last video where we had Wes with us and he was fly fishing from up there, the the possibilities are endless with this thing. It's awesome. And he's got he's got this big skiff that he likes to push us around in, which isn't exactly ideal for push pulling, but he gets it done. So kudos <laughs> So kudos to him for being able to push around my big as we say fat belly fishing. <laughs> He definitely gets a workout with me. <laughs> I like to keep him in shape is basically what I'm saying. So this is for his own good. Me fishing helps him. So we're doing this thing with fat belly fishing. I don't want to just be another YouTuber or whatever. I want to use my, I guess, platform to do good. So me and a bunch of other fat belly fishermen are gonna be doing a cleanup over in the Tampa Bay area. Oh boy, here he comes. We're gonna be doing a cleanup in the Tampa Bay area. We're gonna go around the mangroves, the beaches, basically pick up all the trash for a day. We're gonna try to get a couple hundred people if possible. Probably won't be a couple hundred people because who really likes picking up trash? But there are a lot of good fishermen out there that like helping and are all for taking a day out of their time to pick up. So if you guys wanna do that, head over to the Fat Belly Fishing page on Facebook. I have the link below. 
and all the details will be in there it's going to be april 6th and we'll basically put a location together and get a bunch of group people in there and uh I'll probably bring some decals if I got them by then and give them out to a couple people for helping us out. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment, whatever you guys do. Let's go catch some fish.